From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable faithful. <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha Deon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two as are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. What do you think this one is then? Alpha? Goran? Could even be a Jotun? Always a surprise, eh, Goran? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. One of the Varani women. Must have followed a mercenary band over. Maybe one of them herself. Doesn't much matter now. Fared pretty well, though. All right, then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name her, I think we're done. Put her with the others. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time.
I don't know how or even where, but your body was remade in the Well of Souls, and somehow it worked. The well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Professor Formerus Hughes, the Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! Let me get this door, and we can be on our way. You go first.
something? Ah! 
I trust a bastard insult! Get alive! And who is this? That's what I intend to find out. Later. Nothing protects quite like later. We'll give you the speed. Cloth, bring to your body. That's my major's preferred. We've never seen the twelve. We've never seen the twelve. This is where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawafa here. Oh. There's nothing more I can do except to stay here and slow down the Tawafa. But this is the armory after all. Check the chests. We might have a few things that would fit you. With luck, I'll see you on the outside. I'll see you on the outside, if fate wills. <laughs> 